Hey guys, so this is um, episode 1 of Dust and a Lizzie Tail, which is actually the next... It's one of my favorite games because of how good the story is and just an overall amazing game for how little of a cast that it used. Like, it didn't need a whole AAA title to make a really good game, which I think is a hard achievement. And this, you would expect this to be not a AAA, but like a developed a big game to be sponsored at least. But it's not really, it's made by indie developers and, well not indie, but it's a group of people that not many people know about that it's just really cool. Uh, I'm gonna use slot seven. Increased difficulty recommended for seasoned players of action games. Encounter smarter and tougher enemies. For the elite who are, no, idle for casual and young players, or those who simply wish to enjoy the story. Easy settings are enabled with no death penalty. The default difficulty, expect a fair challenge. Tough and really read that hardcore for the elite, elite few who seek impossible odds as each encounter becomes a test of will. Simply choosing this option demands respect. Since I've already played through this game, I don't want to do normal actually. Screw tough. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great this works really are good, almost since way. complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest records of a listener long since forgotten. So unprofessional. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. The start seems really confusing, but Dust. the story ties it all together. Arise. What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How Fidget about you? is Tell my me favorite yours. character. She's so funny. I'm, uh, calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidget, then? That's me, and you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did. And I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that happens sometimes. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara. And you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, 
well, <laughs> that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Ara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices. When I find out... Too much scan... or too much stuff. Treasure bots. Dashing through this tutorial. Dust that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters. Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're gonna need Feeble fruits are first healing item. I don't need them. I don't need them. Don't even need them. Don't even need them. Some oh. So I got 101% through the game. I'm gonna see if it's not seven. From one second. I like this one more. The the X one is my Y. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna suck again. Oh 
put the mic up here, get a little bit closer. Try that out. Second in that please keep trying to control that it was, like I'm uh, playing. Very pretty. Hmm. Well maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The dust storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. Wow! Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can read. Yes, this is just more towards your own stuff. All right. If this is all too. Thanks, Fidget. Oh, I just parried. The fidget, why are you lagging behind? I'm not supposed to go in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Time. I'm gonna do um, a magic run. And now there's 
three damage. Oh, dude, I own. Take so long. <laughs> Ooh, butterfly. Wow. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. <laughs> well, you should be. Digging the sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Oh, fidget very doesn't well. want that. Speedrun! Yeah, those are speedrunning tactics. It's apparently instead of falling, that's faster, which I can see that. I didn't think it would be that much faster. Save game. So, uh, yeah. It's a romance. Frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, 
I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the, uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. I've been expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? That's our best investment, and then I can get like a freaking that thing. Uh, before you leave, might I propose an offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, you'll buy them at a high price. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. 416 experience just for talking to that guy? on the first try. So it's okay. Yeah. Throw that money. 318. Guess and say we need four keys. I forgot how stupid these are. You have to carry them like that. Thank you. 
independent. I'm not going to the... Can they fight each other? Trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Oh, really? Aw, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Okay. Just die. Just die. No, don't worry. Dude, those are like one of the hardest enemies you can get. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a power will grow ahead of you. Well, Don't good. worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Yeah, I need Please you to find. Oh. <laughs> Persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I is corrupt and missed, oh God, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. I've already done that. Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy's strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counter attack. Timing is crucial. And you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. I see somebody over there. Yeah. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet! But, uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, hello! You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So, we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes, it's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Mm -hmm. Let's get going. Yes. <laughs> These guys are pretty easy, actually. Look! Please, help us! The giants. Ah! Look at the size of that thing! Don't worry, I think I can handle it. No, you can't. Exercise. Okay, get to the very back and do that. Kill this freaking giant. Okay, attack me. Holy. No, wait! That's not all of Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot. We might actually die here. Oh, 
the train. Main train. Oh, what? I'm at one freaking health. Oh, I did not. I did not. Yeah, I think that's it. Holy well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster, and none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And this was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? Um, I, I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived, and that's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? Yes, I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey, who are you calling weak? Oh, okay. So, look, guys, one health. One health. You cannot deny how insane that is. Okay, so... Should I put another in fidget so that it does like 18 or 16 damage? Oh, that's a hundred health well. Huh. I think I'm going to... Oh, I need to go in here so I can get a save. But this is going to be it for this episode. If you want to see more... Actually... No. Screw it if you want to see more. I'm posting this because I want to. And you guys obviously don't really... Well, Portal is done, so we need a continuous Let's Play. And I don't think... Spore might not last. Um, Terraria didn't last. And I'm not even going to want to play that game anymore. Unless 1.3 comes out soon. Which it is. Um... Hold it right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear yeah, anything. I feel like this could be a If you're referring to the giants, the I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. Oh, that must sorry. have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Caleb here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains! You know, gold, silver, um... Prospectors, eh? You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. <sighs> well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is B. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. <clears throat> Prospectors, fidgets, that was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. 
All right, Zara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit, then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. No, I need to go to the well before. I can't talk to freaking Gianni. Or Rice Crispy and Gianni. Wow. Treasure? Him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, uh, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. Wow, that's a... one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. It all makes sense. At the finale. <laughs> The game finale. Thanks for watching. No, this is not the finale. Oh yeah, the save point's down here, I'm pretty sure. There it is. Save game? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna get this note actually. A word of advice, okay. This will be the end of, um... This episode, I guess, that was the best ending of a video I've ever done. Oh, was this off-centered? Was the game off-centered? Oh, I didn't realize off-centered. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't feel like redoing the episode. Because that was a lot of time that I just lost. So that'll be it for this episode. This will probably be the continuation of stuff. Okay, yeah, my outros are so good, but bye! <laughs>